to study with Marsha YouTube channel. So my dear kids, today we are going to talk about flowcharts. Normally, we use flowcharts to represent a solution in a graphical way. So in previous two weeks, we learned how to analyze a problem and to find out the major components. Before drawing a flowchart, we should identify the input process and the output in the given problem. Then it's easy for us to draw our flowchart. So Putala, flowcharts are created by using some symbols. So let's have a look. To represent the start and the end, we use an oval. To identify the input and the output, we use a rhombus. The process is defined by a rectangle. Flow line shows the direction how the signal flows. Finally, we use a diamond shaped box to represent a decision. Let's draw a flow chart to prepare a cup of tea. First of all, let's find out the input, process, and the output. Here, the inputs are the ingredients we need to prepare our tea. Process should be the steps we follow when we are preparing the tea, right? So, the output should be the yummy cup of tea. Now, let's add them into our flowchart. First, we should begin the flowchart with the oval shape. Now let's add the ingredient inputs with the rhombus. So now we can write the process inside our rectangle. Final output should be displayed within the next rhombus. Now we can end our flowchart with our final oval. So make sure to connect all your symbols together by using the flow lines like this. So now we are done. Here is my final flow chart. So my dear kids, I hope this part is very clear for you. See you with another new video soon. Thank you very much.